Jesse Sullivan was an electrical worker who loved fishing and camping, but he lost both of his arms while working on power lines. At that time, Dr. Todd Kuyken had developed a technique called targeted muscle re-innervation. We've developed a technique to take the arm nerves and move them to different muscles uh, in the residual limb or chest. Electrodes placed over the muscles act as antennas that receive signals from the brain that direct movement of the prosthetic arm. When the patient thinks closed hand, for example, a little piece of muscle on their biceps or on their chest contracts, we can use that signal to tell them to have their prosthetic hand close. The relocated nerves produce the same feeling they did in their original locations. You're touching me at the elbow on the top side of the arm. How about over here? That's right in between the finger and the thumb on the back side of the hand. Dr. Kuyken has refined the technique and reports patients can now perform a variety of hand, wrist, and elbow movements, a big improvement over the typical prosthetic arm. The patient now just doesn't say, I want to open and close my hand, but we're able to control a two degree of freedom wrist with reflection extension and rotation, as well as multifunction hands that allow multiple hand grasp patterns. Sullivan was the first patient to work with Dr. Kuyken's prosthesis. I was kind of scared a little bit because, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I didn't have anything to lose, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Dr. Kuyken's research is featured in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The way I see it is it's, it's just going to get better. I hope I'm in on it. Sullivan says everyone wants the ability to do things that make life worthwhile. Carol Pearson, VOA News.